This is Duke University. So bipedalism is the, one of the first, if not the first sort of defining feature of, of humans. And we, and we do have some relatively new fossil discoveries that, that show that this is the first thing that evolves um, and defines um, sort of this ape-like thing as being on the human line as opposed to being on the ape line. And the question really is, um, did we, were we already on the ground and, and we stood up? or were we in the trees and came down. And we support this idea that bipedalism evolved from in the trees and coming down and then standing up on the ground. Ridges and bumps and, and, and divots on these wrist bones that are said to sort of stabilize the wrist when we have it in a more sort of extended posture like we see here. Gorillas are knuckle walking in a different way by using their arms more of a, in more of a columnar posture, much like the way elephants um, move around, so that they actually sort of load one bone on top of the other so that their joints are sitting sort of directly on top of each other. And when you, when you have this kind of posture, you no longer need sort of the bony stops and ridges that we find at the wrist as well as other joints of the forelimb, like at your fingers and your elbow, um, and that this explains why gorillas are are missing a lot of these uh, knuckle walking adaptations. Um, the, the bumps and ridges that we find on the wrist bones um, that are commonly found in chimpanzees and, and bonobos and that we may also find in the human wrist or in fossil humans are more, we think, are more adaptive for life in the trees rather than life on the, on the ground, which suggests that bi human bipedalism evolved from an ancestor adapted to the trees. <laughs> Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.